Yeah, I was working in my basement. It was under a dollar a gallon, right? And everybody's driving around. Uh, so we've got changes ahead, not only to the gas price, but to the uh, storm tracker forecast. Did you notice how steamy it was Saturday? And then did you notice Sunday that it was still warm, but it felt so much better? Today, the humidity will creep up on us a little bit, but you'll feel the full impact tomorrow. And we will be grazed by, potentially, the remnants of a tropical system. But I'm talking the extreme eastern influence of it. I'll explain here in a second. Beautiful morning out of Keeneland. Look at EKU. Look at that sun coming up. Official sunrise is about a quarter after six this morning. And we've got a max track that shows, well, a definitive tropical system down south. I mean, look at that swirl. Uh, landfall as a tropical storm yesterday around 5 o'clock in Louisiana, and it is now working its way up into parts of southern Mississippi and as well through Louisiana, just getting into southern Arkansas. This is satellite imagery shows where the brighter cloud tops are, the uh, stronger storms and the heavier rain. It's moving northwest at 10 miles per hour. Uh, Cristobal is down to a tropical depression. It's weakened 35 mile per hour sustained winds and the forecast track is going to take it right up through Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois by Tuesday and then continue the track across Wisconsin and then eventually up into Canada by Thursday could be a remnant low up across Canada. Uh, so there's the general track pretty much from south to north across the continental United States and here is the heaviest precipitation anywhere between probably roughly about three to five inches so they could have torrential rainfall, possibly localized flash flooding. There is a severe component to this as well down south today. This is due to an approaching system that's up across the upper Midwest. This is related to Cristobal and there is a tornadic uh, segment to this, uh, you know, component to this. Uh, they could see brief spin up tornadoes, the eastern quadrant of that system as it pushes north, uh, sufficient shear to get those going and then tomorrow with that low to our west, there will be a severe threat as well. A slight risk, Illinois, going down into western Kentucky. We have a marginal risk here. The few storms that will make it that far east, and you can see it on the future track, those showers and storms wrapping into that uh, tropical remnant there. You'll start to see those storms popping tomorrow as you get into uh, tomorrow evening. There you can go. Uh, just a few of them moving through. We actually have a better chance for showers, even some strong storms Wednesday afternoon, evening as this cold front rolls through. So. A couple of days worth of active weather heading our way. We are in the 60s now. Temperature wise, we did hit 89 degrees Saturday, so that's the warmest we have been so far this year. Our max high. We've yet to hit 90 degrees. We average our first 90 degree day in Lexington June 14th. Last time we were in the 90s was last October, so we'll take a crack at it today and tomorrow. And then the heat's going to back off a little bit. Look at this, the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook taking you from June 13th through the 17th. A bullseye of 60% uh, chance of below normal temperatures. The Ohio Valley right here in the Commonwealth uh, could be running awfully cool into the weekend. Not today, though. Upper 80s for the high. Quick check of the eight day shows the temperature trend that does go down. I mean, it could be a beautiful weekend. It just won't feel much like June if we're in the mid 70s, but probably won't hear too many people complaining. There's a low chance we may have a few showers around Thursday night and Friday. We'll keep an eye on that as we get closer to it.